an equilateral triangle and I'm gonna make a, a bisector of a line segment. So I'm just gonna make a line, pick two points on it to be my line segment. So we'll call this point A and that point B right there. To make an equilateral triangle out of that, all we have to do is reproduce this length AB. So we mark that distance off with the compass. And then here, I'm actually gonna draw the whole circle for fun. And now there, I drew it centered at A, radius out to B. I'm gonna reproduce it the other way, center at A, reproduce out to B. Again, I'm gonna draw the whole circle. It's not usually necessary with the construction. All right, so there you can see the two of them. Now, if I focus on this point up here, let's call that C. And I connect A to C. The length AB and the length BAC are both radii on this circle on the left. So they're congruent. The length BC here I'm about to draw and the length AB or B to A, those are also congruent because those two are radii on this other circle on the right. I ended up with two congruent circles. I have the same radius A to B, but centered in a different spot. So here we've created an equilateral triangle. Now, better if we consider the bottom point over here, let's call that point D and we connect A to D and B to D. And we have two more congruent radii. And the figure ACBD is now a rhombus because it has four congruent sides. And even cooler, I think, is that if we connect C to D, then what we've done is we've cut this rhombus in half. We've made a right angle here and we've bisected side AB. So these two circles, again, give us two points that allow us to bisect a line segment. So again, things we can do with a compass and a straight edge, we can reproduce lengths with the compass. We can connect points with our straight edge. With the two of them together, we can reproduce angles, which means we can reproduce triangles, and we can make uh, angle bisectors, and we can make uh, bisectors of segments.